best video so far. Really, really good. I, I bet you knew when you came up with the idea for that 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 was that was really excellent. So uh, please stick with it. It's it's very useful for me to to be reminded of of what you're seeing and uh, and I, I think that'll be beneficial and it's visually interesting and I, I I'm really impressed and I, I I'm even more impressed that you watch the video four times. Please remember that the desert analogy is concerning the movement from a believer to something approaching atheism. I suppose agnosticism is okay. Um, but this science is going to make the idea of God having any direct influence on the world and interfering with the day-to-day -day behavior of the countless trillions of atoms on this planet which is what he would have to do if he was a, a personal God that will come into question uh, I'm not like I say I'm not guaranteeing it will work if it does work you are going to shed tears at some point uh, but so if it doesn't work and you stay as you are then that's okay by me um, I would add at this point, if any any uh, atheists see Sable Chicken's video, I would strongly urge them not to be unkind or uh, unpleasant about any of the the conclusions that she drew in that first video. You know, we want believers to try to look at science, and I think. Watching the first uh, watching the first episode of Cosmos four times qualifies as trying, so you won't be doing the cause any good if you if you have a go at Sable Chicken. Um, yes, things have changed. I mean, I, for another point, I never said Carl Sagan was going to be as beautiful as your notion of God. I didn't say that, and it would be absurd to think that uh, any one, anything could be as beautiful as the notion of God. But uh, Carl Sagan wants to look for the truth, and the truth, according to science, is not God. At least, not in the way that you understand him. Um, we'll get on to Einstein's God at another time. GMOs, I don't agree with them anyway. They're, they're a mistake, I think. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but at some point GMOs are going to cause, cause us some problems, so don't think I'm a fan of that. I'm not. Um, yes, things have changed in 30 years, but do you know what? All that's happened is that we've got more evidence. We've got 30 years more evidence. Nothing that has been discovered by real scientists has done anything other than reinforce evolution and explain some of the things that we didn't understand. So if you're thinking that intelligent design is 30 years old or anything like that, you're wrong. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's, it's, I don't think it's 10 years old. Could be wrong, but it's nothing like 30 and no research is, is done in it. No scientists are working in laboratories working uh, on intelligent design. People are sitting down and they're just going through textbooks trying to find any loophole. So, but you'll see. I don't need to persuade you. Uncle Carl's on the case. And you've got the six hardest episodes to go. You wait till you get to episode three. Um, yeah, I've got time. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to tell you about a quick exchange I had with a believer in the thread uh, in a sort of an evolution argument. Um, before I got involved in the argument uh, someone had a believer had said I don't believe that life can come from lifeless chemicals. Okay, he doesn't know science, why should he believe that? Uh, the person he was arguing with at the time uh, pointed out that uh, pointed out an experiment which took place, I think, in 1953, um, whereby scientists 
filled a, a large glass bowl um, with all of the chemicals that we are very confident were in the atmosphere of the early Earth, just after its formation. There was no oxygen. I think it was hydrogen, uh, ammonia, a few other things. Incidentally, you'll see this experiment on one of the next two episodes of Cosmos. I can't remember which one it is, but you'll encounter the experiment. And the, uh, the believer was rather like you, in as much as he did go to check out this particular experiment. Um, but I think he consulted a creationist web page. He came back and he said in the, uh, the thread, um, oh yeah, I've checked out that experiment all right, and in that experiment, when they opened up the, uh, the big test tube, it was a big bowl, they found cyanide and formaldehyde, so obviously that's got nothing to do with life, you must be wrong, up yours, essentially. Um, at which point, I had a look at it, and, and I didn't know a great deal about that experiment. I knew, I knew basically what I've said to you already, but I didn't know any of the details. And I saw formaldehyde, and I saw I saw cyanide, and I don't I don't know much chemistry at all. Um, so I wanted to see if I could find any confirmation of the fact that cyanide and formaldehyde were. Now you know I know a lot about science, but when I saw what that believer said about cyanide and formaldehyde, I thought, hmm, let's check it out. That's the scientific method. So I went to check it out, and it was very interesting. It turns out that formal I mean, for a second, you think, does that sound lethal, cyanide and formaldehyde? These chemicals were in a pot, they were bombarded with electricity, they opened the pot just one week later, and inside was formaldehyde and cyanide. They weren't the only things in there, but those two things were in there. Sounds like that experiment was a failure, doesn't it? Well, it turns out that um, there's a, so, uh, a chemical called rebose, which is um, important in deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. And rebose which is a vital component, obviously, um, is made up of five formaldehyde molecules in a chain. So if the formaldehyde hadn't been in the pot, then the experiment would have been a failure. But it was there. And also, uh, the cyanide. Well, that's good news too, because hydrogen cyanide is an essential component in the, in the early construction of nucleic acids. And there were nucleic acids in that jar. It wasn't life, but it was the, it was almost like, if you, if you think of life as a skyscraper, then the things that were in there were virtually the framework. I'm exaggerating the point slightly, but not that much. It was the, the beginning of the process. The early Earth's chemicals, the early Earth's conditions, and the building blocks of life were under construction in a week. Not half a billion years in a week. I'll leave you to think about that. Um, obviously, all of your videos are welcome. Um, be careful with what you say. Because not everyone understands that you, you're, really, you're really trying here. You search, I think part of you is searching for truth. I think another part of you is, is looking to convert me. That's not going to happen. Never, no way. It can't happen. You cannot convince me that 2 plus 2 is 3 and a bit. Maybe you'll come out of this with your Christianity uh, confirmed and strengthened. Uh, we'll find out. As I say, really impressed with, with what you've done, and I hope you keep doing it. Keep collecting the pieces.